Hello. Hi. I'm back. And we are going to attempt to make 20 videos. Okay, I don't know why I said 20. Like, I don't really know if it's going to be 20, but here I am back again and I'm torn into pieces. Uh, <laughs> I can't take myself seriously. I am back because we are attempting to make another video. This video is about my trip to Las Vegas last year. And yeah it's it's taken me a year to like do this and this whole thing right now me talking this is attempt number three okay so <laughs> bear with me guys all right um where do i start i have no idea <laughs> well what's what started was that we had a family trip planned in joshua tree and louise and i were talking we were like why don't we just like add las vegas on top of that and it just worked out if we were to go to las vegas before joshua tree because you know how las vegas is the weekends cost way more than with the weekdays and we're spending the weekend in joshua tree so we're like let's go before where it's a little bit cheaper and then we'll go to joshua tree spend time with my family and then go back home so I decided to kind of like film the trip a little bit and hopefully I get it out there, edit it, and you, we all can enjoy it together. Well, before the trip, we're plan first of all, we're planning to drive there with Luis's truck and it's a long drive, right? Like eight hours to Las Vegas, four hours to Joshua Tree, and then I think like another, it has to be around close to eight hours back. So it's going to be a long drive, but our audio system like wasn't doing so well at the time. So Luis wanted to like change that up so that we could be listening to podcast music, whatever during the drive. So here's a little montage of him doing that. so handy i have no idea what he did but he did a great job because we were able to like listen to podcast music on the way there and it was a lot more entertaining and it's like he's just been doing more and more it's actually even better now than it was then but we're talking a year ago <laughs> i didn't film anything um of recent times but hopefully we'll get there so let's journey back again to this time where we did this road trip to las vegas and we're on the road and we decided to go before sunrise because at this time there was a heat wave so we were trying to kind of beat the heat as much as we can especially by the time we get to las vegas we did get there probably around like one or two and um it was still hot like the second the sun came out it was hot but we did our best so we're here we're in vegas yay and guess where we're staying the caesar palace yes i freaking loved staying there uh the entrance that we're pulling up to right now is not the correct entrance but it was like a really pretty shot which was pretty pissed at me but oh well look at how cute that looks so we did manage to get in there and we're checking in and i know we we're all thinking did, um, did Caesar live here? Um, no. Sorry, but honestly, the whole time I was at the Caesar Palace, like, all I was thinking was that movie, The Hangover. It's, it's a classic, right? <laughs> it's not really a classic, but, <laughs> um, it's so funny. In 2009, I was like, this movie is, like, funny, but, like, it's just okay. And then 10 years later, I'm like, mm, it's so funny. 
am I like getting dumber or something? I don't know. All right, back to the Caesar Palace. So I wanted to do a little room tour, but before we got into the room, like I wanted to show the hallway because I thought the hallway like wallpaper was really like off compared to the rest of the hotel. So I was like, this is kind of weird. Also, let me tell a quick side story real quick. During that time, I was binge watching Law & Order SVU. So I'm like super paranoid about everything, right? I'm like, oh my God, everyone's trying to kidnap me. Everyone's a stalker. Everyone's trying to sex traffic me. Like you give me a compliment and I'm like, you're just trying to drive me in so you can kidnap me. But you know. Sometimes you have to be a little bit paranoid. Well, we were at the elevator and there's a lot of other hotels where it requires you to like use your key card to scan before it will take you to any of the floors. Well, Caesar Palace, the where we stay, we stayed in the Octavia Tower and it didn't require that. So like anyone can get in, press any number and get on that floor. And we were waiting. We were, there was like another family there. And then there was like this young gentleman, young man, I would say, not gentleman, because I don't really know him. Um, this young man who also came in along with us. And I kind of got a little, I don't know, sketchy vibes, but I was also in my head, like maybe I'm just being super paranoid because of law and order. I don't know. So he gets in, and I don't really remember this part. I, he either didn't press an elevator floor, or he did, and it wasn't our floor. Because I just remember being like, um, when he came off and got on the floor with us, I just remember being like, you're, I don't think you're supposed to be here. So me and Luis, luckily it was with Luis, we get off on the floor, and he's like just following us. And it, I was kind of like, I don't want him to know what room we're in. Like, I'm getting really sketched out, and I didn't know what to do, and I didn't want to say anything to Luis. And I'm kind of like walking kind of slow. And Luis is like, hey, let this guy walk in front of you. You're walking kind of slow. And I was like, oh, okay, perfect. And of course, like right when that happens, he walks in front of us, he like looks around, and he's, you know, giving that, I don't know if he's acting, but he was kind of like, oh, wrong floor you know he didn't say anything just the and then goes back to looking at his phone and walks back towards the elevator and um I kind of like wait a little bit I'm like still walking really really slow until I can see he's like pretty far down and then we go into our room and like I said I have no idea if he really did have bad intentions but I was really paranoid and I was thinking oh we're at the Caesar Palace we're staying in this like nicer hotel maybe there's more security or safety or whatever but you always have to just be on guard you never know and again this elevator lets anyone up and down so you just have to be careful all right let's go back to the room so these doors they require you to insert your a key card in in order to access it and once we got in immediately to the left is the bathroom and then when you get in there to the left of that is where the shower is the shower is super nice it's like really big and then a little bit more up there we've got a private toilet room so you, you know two people three people even four people can be in there at the same time um if and have their own privacy the bathroom has its own like his and hers sink and mirrors which is really nice for me and Luis and then it had it, uh, its own individual tub with the mirror there as well so there's a nice big mirror if you need to use it there then once you get out there is this full-length mirror which I loved clearly <laughs> and then right across from that is a closet that you can use but we didn't really use it then we're kind of going in and there's the bed and I did not clean up we've already like slept in that bed but you know like I didn't care at that moment and then there's like a little lounge area with that little couch there which I used when I was like working then you kind of go up to the windows and that's where you see the pool view but since it's dark out at the time that I'm filming this you can't see it so I'll insert another clip where you can see it like the pool view thing was like cool I guess but kind of weird I don't know I felt kind of weird watching people swim at the pool but I thought was like the nicer view I believe because I did pay more for that room. It is a lot more spacious than the other rooms that the Caesar Palace was offering. I think there are even nicer rooms. I think this is like second best and compared to the other rooms that they have. So I did enjoy it. I like having a lot more space, especially since I just like threw everything everywhere. So I liked it. You can control the temperature, which was great because again, it was a heat wave. So it was hot and we needed it to be blasting i love staying at the caesar palace it is huge so on top of like just staying there there's also the casino you can eat drink club gamble like so many things you could be doing in the caesar palace itself you don't even have to like leave the caesar palace you could do so much in there we did of course leave the other thing i really liked about the caesar palace is just this roman theme i mean i understand it's the caesar palace so it's like of course but i just loved how the dedicated they were to that theme they had statues everywhere and i was just like hypnotized by 
the theme honestly i felt like i wasn't in las vegas even though there's like slot machines everywhere so like i knew i was in las vegas so it's this weird like mixed world that they have created in there and i really enjoyed that it felt like a fancy las vegas if you know what i mean now outside of caesar palace here are the things that we did. We did go to Top Golf. That was my first time, so I was super excited, even though I sucked the entire time. Uh, we did get there like right when they opened, because again, heat waves, so we were trying to beat the heat. Because I was like, if it's like outdoors, how are you gonna stay cool? Like they do have a good. If you go there and it's cold, like they have like these little heat lamps that obviously keep you warm. And if you go there that's hot, I think that they do like have a system to keep you cool. But th- part of it is outdoors, so. We went and it was great, but I can see how it it could be more fun if you were to go in the evening where there's like probably more people, more lively, more music. But again, I wanted to beat the heat. Also, if you go first thing in the morning, it's a lot cheaper as well. So I think it was a good experience like for first time for me. But if you're going with a bigger group and you're trying to party, I would go in the evening. Next, we wanted to get some food and so we got some delicious tacos and we got these from al pastor which is right next to the famous el gordo so el gordo always has a line i've gone there too and their tacos taste just as good like i think that al pastor and el gordo like tacos are the same el gordo i think is a little bit more expensive and again because they're a little bit more well known there's always a line el pastor there's no line so it's like if you want the same quality tacos i just go to el pastor which is right next door later we got dinner at little saigon which was delicious we got dressed up but i didn't get any video because i was kind of shy doing it there so i got some pictures of like the food and my drink and our little dressed upness it was good the thing is is that you have to remember like hotels like the caesar palace they don't have a mini fridge where you can store your leftover food so they have a fridge but it's like packed to the brim full of drinks that you if you touch them you have to pay for them so we had to like strategically order our food in order to not really have any leftovers to bring back or if we did have a leftover bring back like it's enough to eat later like not too much later because we really didn't have a place to store it so after digesting our food we went and gambled a little bit now i don't love gambling because i hate losing money but you're in vegas right it's like might as well gamble a little bit and you get free drinks on top of that so i did stay and gamble a little bit just to get that free drink and then i got a little too happy because by the third drink i was like i got this and i lost all of my money so get in get out and get ahead as they say but you know like even if gambling is like not quite your thing like what i do is sometimes i gamble like a little bit with louise and then i get my drink and i have a good time and then i go back upstairs to our room and that's the nice thing about staying at a hotel that has a casino attached to it is because louise tends to want to like stay and gamble a little bit longer and i get tired and i'll just head upstairs to the room where if we were to stay at a hotel that didn't have a casino attached to it you know we'd have to worry about like a separating and me like walking back to the hotel alone which is you know, not the safest thing to do. So just to be able to just go back upstairs is really nice. And he can stay and I can go to bed and I would say vice versa, but it's never vice versa. (laughs) So one of the last things that we did was that we did go to the Mirage to see the fire show. It was uncomfortable, I would have to say, because again heat waves so you're watching fire in the heat and you're like it's you could feel the heat from the fire like it's far away but you could still feel it so you're just like i'm sweating and now i'm sweating again with the heat but you know it's an interesting show i would say i'm i was underwhelmed because i was expecting a pirate show from like miss congeniality too but i think that was a show that the treasure island had back in the day it's not a show that does it's not a show that happens anymore so my expectations were a little bit too high for what it actually was i think it's an interesting free show to go see and especially because the mirage is actually going to be changing to the hard rock hotel so i don't think that fire show is going to be there much longer so if you are in vegas you should probably go see it just because like it's probably going to be gone soon all right now besides all of that the other thing that we did was walk we walked a lot you get your steps in in vegas let me tell you and um, i like looked up to see how many steps i did back then and it was 19,808 steps that's a lot of steps in a day it was one day where i did that (laughs) so you got to burn off your alcohol somehow you know what i mean and i did that again in like a hundred plus 
degrees weather. So get your steps in in Vegas, you know, burn that off, burn some calories. You're gonna, you're on vacation. You're gonna cheat, you know? So we walked all through Caesar Palace. You know, sometimes you walk up and down the strip. It is what it is. That's sometimes that's like the beauty of Las Vegas is just walking up and down the strip. Okay, just a few things I want to note before ending the video is that we did not eat at Bacchanal. I know Bacchanal is the buffet at the Caesar Palace. It's like really well known for the quality of the food. Now, the Bacchanal is pretty expensive. I believe it's between $90 and $100 per person, and I don't eat that much. So we like discussed it and we were like, it's not really worth the money if we're paying that much money and I take like two bites and I'm full. Luis did, however, go to Las Vegas like a couple months after this trip with his friend and they did go to Bacchanal and he said it was amazing. He's like, we have to go when we have money. Let's go. Like when you just have money that you like don't care about, you know? So I will say I'm like working on my metabolism. I'm trying really hard to get to a point where I can eat a lot, but hopefully one day we will go try the Bacchanal because like Luis said, it's amazing food. Last thing I'm going to say is that, as I mentioned earlier in this video, we did get to the Caesar Palace like around one or two, and that is before our check-in time. So I did have to pay an additional fee to check in early. So at the Caesar Palace, it's actually pretty interesting because they have a kiosk where you can go and just like self-check in. And I went and did that because there's a really long line at the front desk. I don't know if the front desk would have like waived that fee or not, but I was kind of in a rush. We really just wanted to be in the room because I also had some work I needed to get done. So I just paid the fee. I can't remember how much it was. I would say it's probably between $30 and $50 to check in early. So that's like kind of, I think, a common theme in Las Vegas. I, I can't say I remember doing that at the other two hotels that we stayed at, but I do know that like, at least for the Caesar Palace, I paid an additional fee to check in early. So I wanted to kind of give that heads up if you ever were planning to stay at the Caesar Palace. Okay, that is it for this video. So remember after this, we went to Joshua Tree. So I did film a little bit about that as well. So I will be getting that out there too. So stay tuned for that. Hopefully it won't take me a year to put that out as well. <laughs> And um, you know what's so crazy is that this whole time I've been talking about a heat wave in Las Vegas, when we got to Joshua Tree, it was raining. So you gotta love climate change, am I right? All right, anyways, peace out, Girl Scouts. We'll see you at the next video. Until next time.